everybody welcome to my channel Barbalicious Hearts. I'm here at Walmart and today I'm kind of hunting for squishmallows, squishmallow squish fills, <laughs> whatever the the tiny surprise ones that have the little clothing. I'm gonna see if they have any here. Um, I'm also just looking out for any new toys that might be collectible and maybe some Disney adorables. But anyways, let's go. So the first thing that I spotted were these baby dolls. I thought they were so adorable because they were um, clothed in um, these little Care Bear outfits. How cute is that? I don't really collect baby dolls, but for those of you who do, I think that's a good find. And then they've got the little miniature ones, which are also really adorable. And then an Ariel Disney baby. Looks like they're sold out of the other ones. Cry babies, mystery capsules. Those are kind of fun. And then down here, we've got just the baby alive, um, star besties. And then just yeah, a whole bunch of Baby Alive and Cry Babies. They're just really cute little dolls that I like to look at. Not necessarily going to start collecting them, but they're fun. These are the Bloopy Fairies, and I am tempted to get some of those for future videos. I think they look fun. So let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would like to see in the future. And then we just have the um, My Life dolls, just a knockoff brand of the American Girl dolls. I love these because I love to see the different kind of outfits. I think they're so fun. And this was fun because there's a little pillow, like a prop up pillow of the Care Bear. I thought that was adorable. And just a little um, doggy accessories bag. For some pets you might have and then we have some mystery toys dino minis little live pets and then some gabby's dollhouse and then we have some mystery eggs from ryan's world and then just some that weren't put in the right spot of the LOL color change surprise. Just some variations of surprise toys. And then up here we have the bigger ones, or I'm sorry, the pouches. And then after that is where the bigger surprise toys are. And it'll be pictured in just a moment. Yep, there we are. <laughs> All the bigger ones. And we have our treasure trove of LOL surprise dolls. There's always seems to be a ton of these dolls at Walmart and Target and you know wherever you can go toy shopping. But here's some fun things is some mystery wands from Harry Potter. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing those unboxed as well. I My interest depends on your interest. <laughs> so let me know. And then after the mystery wands, if we turn around right behind us, we've got the OMG Fierce. And I love these dolls, but I just haven't had the desire to collect them. That might change in the future, but let's see. And then I have some really, this one was a great find and oh, I was so tempted to buy it, but it's a Care Bears special edition collector set. It's only at Walmart, but it, if you look at it, it included five Care Bears. 
and they're so cute. I just love Care Bears. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the colorful. Or maybe it's the nostalgia just from when I was a kid. And then these honeybee um, animals. They're so cute too. They kind of remind me of the calico critters. And then we have this little squish. Well, this, okay, guys, this is the only squish fill thing that I found. And they weren't surprise toys, but, and I went back and forth about buying it or not. But I did end up getting it because I want to use that for a future video. And they were so stinging cute. And I was the only one there, so I had to get it. And then these ones, the Nana surprise dolls. No, 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 surprise. I want to do a future unboxing of those. So that will be coming in the future. But I tell you, this is an expensive hobby. So I can't get everything I want all at once. <laughs> I wish, but yeah, not going to happen. And here is where I wanted some squish melons to be, but there weren't any. They just have the mala malo little mystery and those are kind of cute little plushies um then we've got the pop art elephants now i have mixed uh opinion about these pop art elephants some of them are really cute but oh, i don't know some of them are weird <laughs> so we've got some fidget friends or fidget fashion and then happy fortune so you know your regular little surprise and like, like, you know, some of these pop arts are super cute. And then, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. And of course, I love my LOL mini sweets. And I haven't finished my collection. It might take me a while, but I'm still working on it. And, um... They do have a couple Squishmallows that were super cute. I like I like that one. That was cute. But again, I want it to be a surprise. So I'm looking for those Squishville surprise eggs. Or even like the Squishville mystery bags. Uh, instead, I found a lot of LOL surprise toys. And as you can see, they have no shortage of those. And then we had, this was just a random little Disney mini ball just kind of hanging out with everything else. <laughs> and sometimes you'll find that with surprise toy shopping. One that doesn't make any sense is just mixed in with all the other ones. And then the surprise of Maddox. I've never gotten one of those, but I, that is something I am going to get in the future of the LOL dolls. And then we've got the mini bites. It seems like they just came out with a mini sweet series too. And now they have mini bites. It's hard to keep up with. <laughs> so yeah, I threw that in my cart hoping that maybe I'd buy it. But I ended up not. And then we've just got the Pets Alive egg or Rainbow Corn Egg Gonza. All the bigger eggs that are... A little bit more pricey but they're still cute and um, some puppy corns and I wish they would have had these when I did my um my rainbow themed video I did get a kitty corn but I wanted the puppy corns more and then we've got some junk bots and those are always fun to do and then just some more smashos smashers and I think that's about it as far as the surprise toys go that I found at Walmart. I did find some more Hatchimal eggs. And I probably won't buy any more of those in the future. They're, they're not exactly what I like in a surprise toy. So they're kind of off my radar at the moment. And these are some new ones that... I did watch an unboxing video of 
these, but I wasn't that impressed with it. So, but it is something interesting, but I don't think it's something I'll collect. And the Cutito burritos, those are fun. This one I wasn't sure what it was at all. <laughs> so I, I guess it's some sort of fairy. And it said it has 40 plus surprises inside. And then it said try me, but it wasn't working. So I really didn't know what was going on with that one. And I think it was like, like about $35, $40. And that's just not something that I know enough about to spend that much money on. And then of course, we've got some Disney Dorables, but we don't have any of the mini peaks or the multi peaks surprise boxes. I was kind of disappointed with that, but you can find them at Target. Um, Target.com, I think is the best place to find them. But it's hard to find them on Amazon, but Target.com has them. So these little ones that I picked up are called purse pets. And I think what it is is just a little purse um, shaped like a pet. But the display that they had like had half of the pet on it. If You can just barely see it and it didn't really show a whole purse so I wasn't exactly sure what it was. And then we've got our <coughs> Magic Mixies and then we've got our Magic Mixies Mixlings. I love those. I've opened up a few of those and then there's a double pack right there. So those are fun to open up. Let me know if you guys want to see more of those. <coughs> and then we have just a few more uh, of the surprise toys, dogs versus squirrels, the pop art elephants. And I think that's about it for the surprise. I, I, no, I stand corrected. <laughs> they have a bunch of the Zero Five mini toy brands. Um, I haven't collected a lot of those. So that's another thing. If you guys want to see any of those, let me know. And then we have these tiny LOL surprise capsules that are include a playset inside of the capsule with a mini doll. I thought those were cute. They're kind of like Polly Pockets. And then we've got some Among Us and just a few things for those who are less on the girly side, the pet simulator. And again, let me know if any of you guys are interested in seeing any of those opened. I'm more on the the doll side and like the My Little Ponies and Care Bears and stuff. <laughs> so that's just my aesthetic. But I am willing to open up some of those if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comments below. And I think that I'm nearly done looking for the Squishmallows. I didn't really find anything at Walmart except a couple things. And then there are just, you know, a couple more of the, I don't know what, if you'd call it boys toys or not. You don't necessarily have to be a boy to like those toys and vice versa. But just have some figurines and we've got Grogu. How cute is that? I do like Grogu toys. I think they're adorable. And I came back to this section um, and I noticed these Polly Pocket play sets and they all have surprises in them. So it says 26 surprises or more. And I think I'm going to open up one of those on my channel or maybe a couple because it does have a lot of little things inside. So it would take quite some time to open up one or two of them. But that's something that I do want to do. 
and they just had so many cute little play sets for Polly Pockets there. They've got that this unicorn right here. And they're all different, the play sets, which I thought was great. So I'll just show you some of the other ones. We've got a kangaroo, then a gumball machine next to that. And I like how they picture the play set on the packaging because it kind of gives you an idea of what's inside. But then you also have the surprises of the toys. So kudos to Polly Pockets for their packaging. But look at that cake. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I think that's the one that I want to get the most. <laughs> and then they also have some open play sets there where you can see what you're getting. They're not so much on the surprise side, but they also look like a lot of fun. And then just some dolls that you can dress up. Now it looks to me like they have different sized dolls. So like the bigger ones that I just picked up and then the ones inside the surprise ones I think are smaller. Not 100% sure on that, but I think so. But anyways, I got really enamored by all these Polly Pockets, <laughs> as you can see. And then, again, I'm gravitating towards those honeybee dolls that I just think are so cute. And I did decide that I want to buy the Squishville package that I did see, the one that was there. <laughs> and it does have one secret in it, so we will be surprised by that. And we got another couple just like fairy surprise toys. And as you can see, somebody opened that, took out what they wanted. Kind of sad, but you see that a lot with surprise toys. And then I think that I can't read what that says. So if you can read it, kudos to you, but I cannot. And then we've got the Harry Potter surprise capsules. That would be fun to open with some of the surprise ones. So look for that in the future. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap things up here. We just got a couple more little surprise. The princess teacups, those are so cute. And then Last but not least, we find the app meow. That's another thing I'm going to get in the future. <laughs> Make a future video of those. Because I love those. They're so adorable. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you've made it this far, please support my channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting below. I do hope you guys have a wonderful day. And... Thanks so much for watching.